Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hatsuzi, and welcome back to episode 3 of series 4 in Oxygen Not Included. And I think today we have to find a way to get more oxygen. We have an oxidizer here. We have a tiny bit of uh, algae around there. But I think either we produce oxygen from water by splitting water or maybe from rust. 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 If we can find any on, on, this, on this planet. However, we need to do a bit of uh, exploring. And um, let's go up there. We also want to go over here and uh, over there. Maybe we can dig even further in here. And then we will probably also need a way to um, to produce power to get the oxygen and uh, only then I think we are able to grow our base because at the moment the air gets gets pretty thin around here, so maybe let's focus on this first. So we have a bit of um, of algae to produce, tiny bit of uh, of oxygen, so that we don't suffocate. I mean, the uh, oxygens they produce a bit of uh, oxygen, but it's uh, not eight grams per second, and that's less than uh, what my duplicants are breathing in. So, yeah. There's that, and hopefully we can find something around here uh, to go the waterway. We would have to use um, electrolyzer to split the water into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen we can use to power the whole system, um, but we need a sustainable source of water we cannot use these bodies of water that we have here and usually that also means that the air coming out is a bit on the warm side and in the in the last base uh, we could deal with that because <coughs> or we could deal with that for a long while because uh, the asteroid was really cold so warm air was something as a good thing I think here we should try to not heat up the core of our base unnecessary um, more we might get into a problem but yeah let's see we are producing a bit of uh, of oxygen there and we just have to see what we find in uh, all these directions I mean we can also go down uh, 
I did some exploring in all four directions and the most promising thing we found is here a salt water geyser but that's quite on the hot side and then down here we have an oil reservoir um, down here nothing to be seen and um, over here we have a natural gas geyser which can be advantageous um, but unfortunately not what we are looking for so uh, maybe still in this region we might still have some water source uh, and then i was also looking over here so far nothing but still might find something in that region uh, but I am also expanding uh, up here to look further. So if nothing comes from, um, from this, then we probably will have to use this water. Um, desalinate it, use it for oxygen production and then maybe use this uh, oil reservoir um, uh, as a power source to generate petroleum and then through petroleum boilers um, power the whole thing because this water we will need to cool down first a few degrees before we can use it in our base and that also means that until we get there we have to get by with uh, algae and we have a bit more than than half a ton we could also uh, produce algae by uh, cooking slime but as something I would like to avoid um, because slime is also useful in uh, in other ways let's see what we can find uh, when we uh, extend through here and um, maybe also try to get over here and then maybe around this way peek in a bit more uh, but uh, nevertheless maybe we should look into more research um, we would need that and uh, the oil well uh, if we uh, want to get at the, at the petroleum um, and then uh, for refining we would need this down here um, and then probably for cooling um, we would need this one Oh, let's do the first research first and then see where we get. I did a bit more digging and up here we almost breached uh, the surface 
And on this side, there are still some unexplored patches, uh, but so far no water geyser of uh, any kind. So in order to get oxygen, we will probably have to desalinate that water, uh, use that to create oxygen and hydrogen and then cool it so that all needs power so i think we will tap into this natural gas and use that and then over here we also have an oil reservoir so we can have our um, power set up somewhere in in this area and let's just do a bit of a door here and then do this and then in here uh, we want to have a pump um, Uh, that gas comes out a bit hot so let's make that pump out of gold ammo gam and then we just have a pipe going out here we'll have a filter we'll have a filter um and that's basically where we have the output of the gas and probably we will want to have a few tanks which you've not researched yet researched all kind of uh, other stuff useful and not so useful some things we cannot even uh, build because uh, a no refined metal um, but i think research is up we still have one queued up and then where are our storage ah looks like another research that i did not finish entirely and then down here we will probably have to dig out a bit of an area because um down here uh, we have to collect the uh, the polluted water that comes out of uh, our power production and we want to have that here at the bottom uh, and also the petroleum um, generators they also produce uh, polluted water we do not have that much coal so that's not really an option there we will have to jump start this uh, somehow and i think uh, we will use the good old hamster wheel for that let's build this thing first um, and of course we will need power there and we do have a bit of algae on the side and luckily uh, this 
uh, as it holds large slime biomes. So within them we can find more algae, um, but we have to collect them, of course. So let's build that part up and then here on this side uh, we will probably need to close that gap off um, and then see where we get. As you can see, we now have also the uh, gas reservoirs planned out. So we can actually uh, proceed. Uh, have a door there and then we need <coughs> uh, a mesh tiled floor there um, here on this side sink solid door solid floor and then we will have another ladder going down on this side and I really want to soak up soak up this salt water before we uh, we get to to down there uh, but then at least in here um, that's where we can have one, two, three, and uh, da -da. we need gas pipe coming out from here. where we will have the output that we will just place there and hope for the best. And then we probably want to have a smart battery in here, connect that um, and for now let's use this heavy watt wire and Maybe then here on um, this level. We can have this like so. And that would be the, the first power setup and this one we can then drag over to here where we have the oxygen production. Um, I think ooh, we have something down here. Did not see that. It's a hydrogen vent. Hydrogen vents are good. They are a bit difficult because uh, the hydrogen is a bit on the hot side. So we need to have a way to cool things before we can actually uh, pump it in the um, the, the 
uh, before we can pump it in the in the build. So here I made a bit of a boo boo because of course these generators we want them uh, out of uh, gold ammo gam and then probably I messed up yep yeah, I messed up the the pipes there uh, that's not uh, a problem can do it like that and more gas tanks are going in and we still have quite a few um, uh, things in the printing pot but no duplicates yet uh, because we just can keep up with uh, with food supplies around 20,000 kilocalories uh, but I think uh, oxygen uh, is not really on a on a good level where we could support more duplicates than we have so we made a start here with our power set up uh, so that we can then do the oxygen set up and I think that will do it for now. So don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we will see each other again next time where we hopefully can start tackling our oxygen problem.